Welcome back. Well, in this segment, we're going to talk about how to put movement into your photos or slides. That turns a photo presentation into a nice video presentation. So here we go. I've already dropped the slides into the project timeline in Final Cut Pro. I've already resized them. So if we look through this, you can see that each slide is the same uh, appearance. It fills up the video frame. And I've already covered in a previous segment how to change the duration of the slides if you want to do that. But each one of these is three seconds, which it says right here is three seconds. Okay, so how to change, add some movement to this. We select the slide. We go up our, to our tool here and select crop. Then you see this frame up here. We go to Ken Burns. And now you see these two brackets, one red and one green. The green is the starting camera and the red is the ending camera. So this is a promotional video for this electrical contractor. Let's start it on his logo. And we're going to end it here by filling the entire video frame because we want him to see the house. So let's see how this looks. We hit the done button and let's see what that looks like. Just what we wanted. Okay. Now let's go to our next slide. Now you're going to figure out your own preferences for this. I'm just going to show you some little tips here. This one we're going to go top to bottom. Ken Burns. Uh, we're going to start on the bottom. We're going to end on the top. Okay. Click done. Now on this one, we've actually gone from the top of the slide to the bottom. Let's do something a little different on this one. We'll go to this slide. Ken Burns. We're going to start here on the before and we're going to fill up the entire slide so they see that it's a workplace for commercial electrical services. So hit the done button. There we go. On this slide we're going to take it. Same thing now I want to not forget so I'm going to tell you now it's better when you do the movement to minimize the movement. And I'll show you an example of that. We'll do the ending point. All right, fill up the video frame. But the start is just going to be right inside of it. So you're not going to see much movement in this slide. But you'll see enough to know that it's not a still image. Hit the done button. See there's a gradual movement. That's typically what you see when you do the videos you see more of a gradual movement so there you got it there that'll get you started in being able to add some movement now if we look at this this is looking like our end result that I promised you at the very first segment the first project video of this series so we've gone over how to do all the different elements to build a promotional video. There's just two more. I want to show you how to add some music and I want to show you how to do some branding to make a nice slide like this at the end so that you can have your business or your client's business portrayed at the end of the video. All right, I hope this was helpful. If you like it, click the subscribe button so you automatically receive the updates. And thanks for watching.